Mike Ebner likely spends more time than anyone at Alleman High School. As the third shift maintenance man, it's late night in the Alleman hallways. But by day, he is a committed coach, including varsity softball coach for the Pioneers. He's also head sophomore girls basketball coach and assistant football coach. It certainly enriches his life, but also makes Alleman High School a better place. You just can't beat them. They're great kids, you know. You know, we wouldn't do it if it's not, you know, if it wasn't for them. And I talked to a bunch of coaches. We, you know, I coached football for a long time too, and tell the young ones, you know, as long as you're enjoying it, keep doing it. If it's not fun anymore, get out of it. And so far, it's been fun. So, mm -hmm. what keeps it that way? I mean, what are some things that just make it fresh every year? Do you think? Well, I think coaching three sports makes a big difference too. You know. Uh, Obviously, coaching boys and girls, you know, it's just totally different and comes and just just the great kids and the great families they come from. I mean, you know, you can't, like I said, I've heard from pretty smart coaches saying before, you know, you can't change a kid in the two hours you have them there with their parents, you know, the other 22 hours. So, you know, we're very fortunate to have great parents and great stock in the kids. You've been in some uh, places where uh, Alleman's been able to hoist some pretty big hardware, too. I mean, that, that part's got to be fun, but what else is enriching for you? What are some of the other charms of coaching? When maybe it wasn't the, the best team ever. Do you, do, you, do you have those moments like, I am glad I was around that kid, you know? Oh, yeah. I remember football several years ago. Was kids, we'd, they'd come up. They hadn't won a game in seventh to eighth grade or as freshmen. They came up, and I think we only won one or two, but we tied like three. But just seeing kids have success when they work hard and they have success and they get better, and, you know, that, that's all you can ever ask for. We all really have a great relationship with him. He's a great coach and a great person. He's a great friend too. I know me. And he's always there when we need help with anything. And if we have any questions, if we have concerns, we always know that he has an open door and we can always go talk to him. He's a great person. He's got a great self on knowledge. He has a good love for the game and he knows situations pretty well. He knows when we need to bunt, when we need to hit away, and what we need to do in the field and at what times. Mm -hmm. You know, how much of a staple is he at the school, too? I mean, uh, do you sense that, uh, you know, it, there's there's something about him when he comes walking down the hallway that all is well, you know? Kind of uh, yeah, everyone always says hi to him. He always has a big smile on his face, always friendly to everyone. I've never seen him be mean to anyone. He's always nice. What are some of the great lessons that you hope every kid takes away from any program you're involved in beyond the, the X's and O's part of it, I guess? Uh, we just try to tell them whatever they're doing, give it your all, whether, you know, it's softball tonight, you know, if it's tomorrow, if it's in school or if it's in a play or whatever if you're going to do something do it do it all out give it everything you have and treat it you know like it could be your last day doing it because unfortunately that happens sometimes so just try to you know live it to its fullest and give it everything you have mm -hmm. well obviously i mean uh, you, you uh, have a different position there i mean you're the maintenance guy overnight and stuff too but um, you're an educator and so many at so many levels too I mean how serious are you about that that uh, the way that you conduct yourself and the way that you encourage and challenge kids is is, is special and uh, very motivating to them I guess too well that's yeah you, you hope it is you hope you can make a little bit of difference in there you know I mean, you know if they have to come across sometimes they have to make decisions good or bad we're always you know, you know telling them you, you are making that decision so you have to do that so we hope that we're helping them along the way there and stuff and there's been a lot of successful kids come back well you know mm -hmm. I mean by success I don't mean in sports or whatever but kids at success and you know in the real world they come back and you see them and talk to them that's probably the greatest thing somebody that might not have been a great player but they come back and tell you how well they're doing and stuff and that's really neat to see that's one of the best things about it mm -hmm. well this is a very broad question but what is the coaching lifestyle you know I mean uh, you're going to go home and uh, you're not going to go home and just watch TV or something. You're probably going to pour over this game again and get ready, right? You know? Yeah, well, <laughs> today was the all-conference meeting, so I got one hour sleep today. So, you know, when, when that six-run lead disappeared, I, that, you know, I got a little nervous there and stuff. But, yeah, no, it, it's, you know, like I said, uh, we played Orion a couple weeks ago, and it happened to be my 32nd anniversary, and, and they had that announced at the game and stuff, happy yeah, anniversary to my wife and stuff. And I don't know, who knows if I hadn't been, you know, coaching for 22, 23 years. I don't know if I'd be married for 32 years. So <laughs> on the ball field, we had our anniversary like we usually do. So mm -hmm. that's good. And last thing, I mean, how important is it to have that support system? I mean, I lived it my life too. I mean, I had a crazy, crazy schedule too, but your spouse has got to be into it. Your family's got to really um, embrace it too, right? Oh, you no know? doubt about it. I'm the luckiest person in the world. My wife, she just, you know, very understanding, you know, when I started getting into coaching, the kids were little and stuff, started doing it, you know, and she's basically a single parent for a long time. She does a lot of stuff, never, you know, never any grief or whatever, and uh, doesn't try to help me too much coaching wise either. So that that's kind of nice. When my mom was still alive, she would, mm -hmm. she would, she would give me advice and stuff <laughs> that, but my wife doesn't do that. She's just very, very understanding, knows when I go, it's what I do and stuff, and very understanding in my children in the same way.